Hello and welcome everyone to part 28 of the FJ45 restoration series. So in today's video we're gonna be flushing the cooling system on the truck. We're gonna pause on the tailgate and the electrical stuff that you saw. We're gonna turn our focus back on the mechanical side of the truck. We're gonna be cleaning the cooling system all out, draining it down, cleaning it some more, adding some detergents, cleaning it some more, then changing it, and then finally we're gonna add some antifreeze. So Let's get straight to work. Okay guys, so we loosened the hose clamp and now we're removing the bottom radiator hose. Okay guys, so as you saw we drained all the old coolant out of the, both the engine and the radiator We also stuck the garden hose in one of them, each one at a time To, to flush all the old uh, rusty water out Now we got some clean uh, water flowing Now we're not done yet, we're still gonna use the garden hose some more We're gonna fill the whole system up, crank it up, let it bite, run, run sometimes and then we're gonna redo that again and then we're gonna add some detergent which is we're gonna talk about when we use it and then also run it a couple of minutes maybe five ten minutes and then drain the coolant back down re add water alone drain it down and then add antifreeze now we're gonna replace this rusty line which was leaking from here and well it's ready to go away Out of the old and with the new. Okay, guys, so with that done, we're gonna refill the system up and then flush it some more.
guys so as you saw we flushed the whole cooling system out it's all now clean we use the genius backyard method which works fine and has no side effects on the car whatsoever now we're gonna wait till tomorrow to add the expensive coolant because we want to check if it has any leaks to make sure that the expensive stuff won't leak on the ground so now we're gonna pause on that and we're gonna turn our focus on the well we're gonna do some electrical stuff like the horns headlights and stuff we're gonna make sure that everything is functioning right let's get started guys so we have this uh, brand new reproduction old school horn that might be the same sound as the OEM one it's cool anyway so we're gonna check the sound of this one on the battery right here Okay, it sounds like a horn. <laughs> okay guys, so as you noticed, I said this remanufactured OEM style uh, horn goes well, this is the OEM one. As you can see, it's the same type, old school. This one's bad, we tested it on the channel before. And these are the two new ones that we're gonna be installing. So as you see guys, we turned our focus on the electric side of the truck. We got a bunch of parts disassembled. We have three clusters that we're gonna mix match to, go, to get one working one. And also we have two wiper motors that we disassembled and cleaned. And we're gonna merge them into one, one that's functional. So here we have the wiper motor that we rebuilt. And by rebuilding, I mean we used two broken wiper motors and make them into one hopefully functional anyway we got these two wires stripped out they pulled out from their place so i'm gonna be using the cheapest soldering tool that will probably not work to put them back together Okay, so here we have the coolant expansion tank. We're gonna clean it out also by stuffing some gravel in and, the, and some rocks, tiny rocks, with some water and the detergent. Then shake it around. The bouncing of the rocks inside will clean all the debris that's stuck on the walls and stuff, and it will be shiny once again. Needs one more bath. Okay guys, so here we have the old windshield uh, washer fluid motor. It's bad. So as you can tell, it's rusted through. Anyway, we got this as a replacement and turned out to be a different model. So we're gonna be backyard fixing it in a guided way by putting a plug and then Connecting some hoses around, it will work flawlessly. Welcome everyone to the new Tune to Blast Garage. So, if you're a fan of the FJ45 and you're watching only the restoration series, go watch the video that we did on this garage where we got it and gave her a little renovation with some designs. And we also laid down all of our tools and the junk that we have. So, now, this is the place we're gonna be continue working on the FJ45 and all of our projects. So, so let's get straight to the cooling system and continue where we left. So we ran the truck for a couple of days on only water to see if it has any leaks so we won't leak out the expensive stuff. And now it does not have any leaks, no puddles have occurred and the coolant did not decrease in the level at all. So 
Now we're gonna drain a little bit of the coolant out just to make some space for the antifreeze, which we're gonna be using some concentrate antifreeze, which uh, needs to be added to water, so it will be on point. So to drain some water out of the cooling system, all you have to do is remove the upper radiator hose. There's no need to get under the truck and remove the bottom radiator hose and have a lot of spillage. Over here, it's gonna be controlled spillage, so... And you're gonna be controlling also the amount that you want to drain. Just remove the radiator hose, make sure the radiator cap is on and blow through the hose. Guys, so here we have the antifreeze that we're gonna be putting into the truck. It's blue stuff, so it's cool. So in our case, we're gonna be mixing 30% of the antifreeze and the rest is gonna be water. Well, because we are not in that much of a cold area, we are using it for its anti-corrosion characteristics, per se for more. And this stuff is made in Germany. It's the good and expensive stuff. So it's gonna be enough for the truck. Okay guys, so now with that done, we got all the mechanical side of the truck buttoned up everything is ready for the road and as you saw we finished painting the car all we gotta do now is attach the electrical system on the truck it's simple it's only uh, tail lights and headlights and stuff it's easy the problem is that we're gonna face is the cluster which is gonna be fixable also in addition to that we still have the tailgate so with that being said this is gonna be the end of the day's video hopefully you enjoyed it see you on the next one Peace.